Yo, how we doing guys? Welcome to another Dead Frontier 2 video. So there's been a new update. So any right, so to make this a little bit quicker, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my positives and negatives on the video. Um I think that's just a good like a good idea just so you can hear my opinions. And then we'll go play the game for ten minutes and you know go and check out some of the new stuff. So Alright, positives <clears throat> level cap being raised to thirty. Honestly, that's that's a really good idea. I, I really, honestly, it's brilliant. That is. Um, the new bosses added to the game. You know, the uh, harder versions of them. Again, another gr like, another great update. I've already been and checked some of them out. Really good. Do really like that. Higher level areas added into the game. That that is good. I'll I'll give him that. I'll give him his dues on that one. So, let's jump onto the negatives with this. All right, so the prestige cap has been raised by ten. Um, honestly, I don't even it's prestige and shouldn't even be in game. Like it's it's so pointless. It's when I prestige, that's the reason I stopped playing because the game got really slow and sluggish again. You know, and by down to level one, and it was just boring. So you know, it kind of put me off. Um, the level cap being raised to thirty, like uh, that is a positive, but when you get to level twenty, I think it's thirty thousand XP. And from what I've been told, going from twenty one from twenty to twenty one, it's like sixty thousand. I don't know. I can't verify that. I'm just going off what people have said in Discord. If that's the case, it should have just carried on. In, I like, maybe boosted a little bit, like you know, instead of going. Because I know it goes up two thousand at the end, like from fifteen to twenty, it goes up two thousand. So maybe from twenty to twenty five, it should have been like. 35,000, 40, 45, you know what I mean? And then when you get to 25 to 30, it jumps by 10,000, not double it. But I don't know though, I haven't seen it. I'm just be, I'm just going from what I've been told, but that's how I would have done it. I would have done a 5k XP jump for each level after 20, and then after 25, a 10k jump. I think that would have been the, probably the best way to do it. Um, The higher level areas, like I said, uh, so this is like I said a good and a bad thing. The bad part about this, there's not actually any new areas. It's just level thirty on the areas that we already had. So the reason that's a bad thing is now we have less areas to go to as a lower level, which kind of sucks in my opinion. So you're going to be able to clear the maps a lot faster because you can clear a map, you know what I mean, like in a couple of hours. So if you do two, three maps you don't want to go lower level and now you know you, you're gonna to have to jump even higher level and you know some people aren't gonna like that i don't i don't think that's a good idea so yeah that's oh another negative one more negative apparently like i said i don't know because i'm not at that level cap but apparently there's no new weapons no one can actually verify that though until someone hits level 25 or 30 there's no way to verify that but we have been i you know, done some asking about, and apparently there's no new levels, uh, no new weapons. Like no one's meant. Neil's not mentioned any. They could be, for all we know. So they could be. But yeah, there's my positives. There's my negatives. Let's jump in and you know have a look at these new bosses. All right, level thirty, Albendale. Wait, what? I swear, I swear I clicked on Albendale then. Alright, Albendale Park. Let's see what we can find. The stamina is still- oh man, I wish it increased the stamina. It sucks having it that low. I only sprinted like I think like three steps and it was half gone. I forgot how bad it was. Right, it's supposed to be a level thirty zone. So we're gonna see how much more difficult she is. Oh, how did I miss that? What the hell? Sensitivity is way too low. What? Man, I really wish you'd change out of shooting weights on this game. I 
Alright, so... The mother don't really seem to be doing anything now. Oops. Wow! <laughs> I was full HP then. I just got stuck for like a second. So, I'm guessing he just gave him more melee damage. He's not going any faster. Worms aren't any faster. There's no more worms. No new mechanics or anything. I'm just going to say increase melee damage. Kind of silly. Doesn't really do anything. Lol. Because she's so easy to stay away from anyway. Like, I just messed up before. Probably got increased health, maybe. This is a level 30 zone, by the way. On a level 8 character. Like, why? What I would have done is gave the mother the screaming mechanic or the puke mechanic for the harder version. Because just increasing the health and um, a melee damage is not making it any more difficult. Because she already had high melee damage anyway. So all you've done is made it, made it tank more bullets. You know what I mean? That's it. So it's not making it any harder. It's just making it cost more money to do. What XP am I on? One minute, let me move. I'm on 3,591. Look at that, that's stupid that is. I forgot I'd have to shoot him on this game. What I mean is... Because he gets close to me and my crosshair's not actually on him even though he's standing in front of my gun. Um, it doesn't do any damage, which is stupid. Is there actually any way to tell her apart from the old one? She doesn't look any different. I don't know if it's just because I haven't played the game in a while. I'm not going to lie, I'm really bored. <laughs> why didn't he make a run or something? Like, why didn't he just give me a harder? Let her puke, let her scream, let her run, set the bitch on fire, do something. Like, she's just increased her health, that's it. It's not hard, it's just boring. I hope I've got enough ammo for this. I had like 150 rounds when I started. Come on, Jesus Christ. All this for some rare sandals. Oh, she's dead. Yay. What a super intense fire. Right, I've got absolute, like, complete full stamina, you ready? I run from one side of the room to the other and use one third of my stamina. That's just running from one side of a living room to another. Rare shovel! Will you take it? Of course, it's going to be epic. Find 30 medical chance, find ammo, body damage, weapon attack speed. Eh? It's alright actually, it's not too bad. A wrench. That sprint duration on it. Why have I got a wrench that makes me run for longer? That doesn't make sense. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Feel the power of my new shovel. Yeah, boy. Alright, well that's the level um, 
the level 30 mother anyway. That was super exciting. As you can tell. Oh, oh mate, I'm honestly, honestly, I don't even think I'm going to go to the next one. Alright, so I decided to come back to Dalbo. I'm not going to play anymore. Cause I can't really be forced. I'm not really interested in seeing the other bosses because... They're not going to be that much different, even if they are, you know, it's not, it's only going to be slight changes. Um, I've already seen the fingers, he has like this weird glow. Um, he's not any more difficult though, he's just, he's, when he makes you blur, he just lasts longer, that's literally about it. Um, I, I might start playing the game again to level up, but, right, so the update all in all, and it, but the max level being put up by 10 is awesome. The max prestige, just... I don't know, just remove the prestige, please. <laughs> it's pointless. Like, I suppose you can leave it in there for newer players, but don't focus on it. It's, prestige is not a good mechanic. It never has been, it never will be. <clears throat> um, unless you get a really good benefit out of it. Like, one skill point is it's just not worth it. Um... The bosses, like, you could do so much more with the bosses. The bosses could be so interesting, but they're just not. Like, the mother, like, just I'd say just take one boss and give it all of the mechanics. Like, the mother or something. You could let her sprint. You could make a puke. You could make a scream. You know what I mean? Like, give her, you could set her on fire. Like, do all of them. Give her all of them effects, man. That'd be so cool. You know what I mean? Like, instead of running around in a circle, like, bored. Board. Bring the HP back down. Bring the melee bit damage down a little bit. Like make it so it's like 40 damage. And then give her the flame effect. So if you get hit by her, then you get the flame debuff. You know, set her on fire. Uh, give her a puke. So when you run, like if you get too close and then you run away, she'll try and puke on you, and that'll do like 25 damage. <laughs> give her the scream. Maybe not give it any damage, like the fingers, because then you can keep them unique. But just make it so she can stun you, so then she can get closer and hit you. You know what I mean? Like that'd be so much more fun because you know you got a lot more to worry about. Is alright. So le leave the normal one how she is, but make the new one interesting. You know what I mean? Give give her all the effects, man. It'd be so cool. But instead, you've just got one with a crap ton more health, and it just. That, f that fight took me 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes, of me just running around in a circle, shooting her in the face. Like, don't get me wrong, that's that's alright if the fight is interesting. Like, Dead Fr I said to do that on Dead Frontier 1, alright? Dead Frontier 1, when you are fighting the flaming black titan, you know if you get hit, you are dead. And that guy is fast. The mother is not fast. You know what I mean? So you don't... You, there's no threat to dying, there's nothing to worry about. That's the boring thing. But I haven't checked out the new bosses, so I think I'm going to level up. I probably I might start leveling up, I might start streaming this game again. Level up, I'll check out the new bosses, I'll make some videos on. Don't take this video fully to heart, a lot of this is just guesses. Like I said at the start, I don't actually know certain things. I will do in a, in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, though, if I start playing again. So... Watch out for videos, watch out for streams. I might jump back in. But I'd like to see some better mechanics in the game. Like, put the sprinting up, man. It's so boring. Like, let me just show you. Let me show you how far I can run. I didn't even run around the room once. I, like, you know what I mean? Like, I can... How far can I run? I think... When I, I trained for the army like a couple of years ago, and I had to do a mile and a half run in ten minutes. I can do a mile and a half run, I'm not sprinting the entire time, but I can do. You know what I mean? Like she's her sprint is so short. Like when I was doing that, I you know I jog, um, for a, like a minute, then I get a sprint out for about a minute, and then a fast pace fast pace walk for like a minute, like just under a jog. I keep doing that over and over. You know what I mean? Like this. Chick, she sprints for like 15 seconds and she's, you know, like <laughs> gasping for breath, man, dying. I hate that. It's so boring. It just makes getting around the map, getting around the game just tedious and slow and bleh. But anyway, th these are just my opinions. 
go cry in the comments if you want. I know some of you will just straight hate the video before you even watch it. And it's just a fact. So that was this was Dead Frontier 2's new update. Some good things, some bad things, in my opinion. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.